I know it's not where I'm supposed to be going. What is this here? It's like a, a force field. A whole bunch of sesperilla bo oh, terminal. Okay, X12 request for assistance. We've had a small issue with one of our Y17 trauma harnesses. Oh, so those are the uh, the skeletal figures I have encountered earlier. I think. Sadly, a member of the X-12 research team choked on a buffalo gourd seed and died while working late last night. For some reason, his Y-17 trauma harness will not shut down. In fact, it has begun malfunctioning and causing the late Mr. Harris to attack other employees. Do you have any prototypes you could lend us as a means to stop it? Okay, so that is what I was suspecting. So these trauma harnesses apparently somehow make the wearer like, do things even after they die, which is pretty interesting. Okay, what's this entry? Assistance granted. I'm sending over the K9000 Cyberdog gun. Ah, it should do the trick. Let me know if you have any operational questions. The, this was their answer to the trauma harness thing? The K9000 Cyberdog gun? Okay, K9000 Cyberdog gun sealed in X12. Um, I'm pretty sure I have one of those. So, what is sealed in? Ah, never mind. We've had another unfortunate occurrence. While attempting to destroy Mr. Harris's trauma harness, the disaster control team member carrying the gun slipped and fell, dropping the weapon. Unarmed, the team had to flee and seal up the lab. Unfortunately, your K9000 Cyberdog gun prototype was sealed inside X12. Well, that explains the force field. So, apparently this place has a a rogue trauma harness dude I assume and the cyberdog gun now the question is how do you turn this off from the outside because clearly it was turned on while someone was outside so how is that done I probably don't need I Mostly I just collect cigarettes for, for the sake of selling it. Because people still like to smoke. Even it's just this... Just this uh, cheap type. Is there something moving there? Oh. Oh, that was me, I guess. I think I saw someone there. Okay, well... Oh, this is nauseating a bit. Okay, does this thing react to weapons. Like, can I deactivate it with damaging it? I guess not. What about lasers? Mm, evidently not. Maybe the sonic emitter? No, it didn't react to that either. Okay, so I guess I can't really do anything here for the time being, but... I have my eye on you, X-12. I will return one day. Okay. Back to the outside world. The sunset says... Oh. Um... Um... Sorry? Military cyberdog, okay. You calm down. Whoa, what? Something just shot something at me. Okay, I'm gonna uppercut this dog, hold on. Boom. There we go. Oh, so it's you who does that. Uh, look, that's not pleasant at all. Might not be a robot, but still. That's not pleasant in any fashion. Come over here. Stay down. Good boy. Hmm. Nah, I don't need any of this. I did hear about... I remember Boros mentioning, like, milit like robo dogs running around and protecting him, but I thought he was being, like, delusional. I mean, <laughs> it wouldn't be very far from the truth. But apparently there are cyber dogs walking around in this world, which is a bit worrying. I mean, not too much. I know to handle a dog. But, huh, this area appears to be 
irradiated and well that's delightful okay not cool not cool hmm. maybe it's time I whipped out the, the pistol that I was whoop, that I was saving for a rainy day whoop, well not even sure what they are doing at this point There we go. If I manage to hit your head, it's totally deadly. This is the case I with most gunfights, I believe. There we go. Ah. Night Stalker is a little bit of a problem, because as you can see, they are pretty much mutated coyotes with snake heads. They have been also reported to have like cloaking abilities. We are reading increased levels of berserkity and securitrons from the deconstruction plant. That's excellent. Well, the sword one just ran off, so I'm not even gonna bother. However, this radiation thing is a bit of a problem, so I'm gonna handle that a little. Might as well down a nuke cola as well, just to keep spirits up and the health up as well. But I pop a little right away over here. It's a bit unpleasant, but hey, it does the job for the most part. Well, maybe I should prop some red X as well, because this area seems to be irradiated, and that's not good for your health. Okay. Let's keep on. Really? Just about had it with two nice stalkers. Come over here. Hmm. Yeah. Not having any of this nonsense. Back to our regular program. Let's see. Okay, but clearly we have arrived into dangerous ground here. I'm not sure what this whole place is. It looks like a city that I think I saw this place from before from up there. Not sure what I'm up against here. A whole lot of location markers on my Pip-Boy map. 